After storms rolled through our area, residents are continuing to assess the damage. We have learned that a tornado touched down in Chanchula and one man caught it all on camera. Fox Sense Anaya Sprague joins us now live from Brighton Court where the storm hit. Anaya, you talked to the person who filmed this incident. What did he say? Good morning, Joe. Well, that young man made light of the situation, saying he's very thankful he and his father, who were working on another home a block away, were not hurt. But a neighbor who literally lives a few feet behind that home was not so lucky. When Tim Williams settled onto his couch Wednesday afternoon, tracking the latest severe weather updates, he had no idea a storm was headed his way. It's like... I heard this big boom and the house felt like it just lifted and sit right back down real quick and which it didn't. But then it was just over with when he stepped outside. He found the source of the noise and there was just debris everywhere. Williams recounted the damage to his property, including his truck's windshield smashed by flying debris. It was just thundering, lightning pouring down rain and just bam, all of a sudden, it just sounded like a freight train coming right through my house. According to the National Weather Service, a brief EF1 tornado tore through the area, leaving a trail of destruction. Starting on Brighton Court, it ripped off the roof of a home due to a garage door failure with an exterior wall in the garage pushed out by the storm's force. The tornado then continued its rampage, snapping large tree limbs as it crossed Brighton Drive and Brandy Court. Incredible video captured by Darian Faslick shows the moment the tornado struck. I just hear this loud whistling. I'm like, what the hell is that loud whistling? I take a peek out the door and I'm just like, I think that's a tornado right there. Faslick says he and his father were working on a home a block away when it passed through. And uh, it doubled back hit a power line or two, and then I just saw everything coming, falling out of the sky from like plywood to two by eights, so watching through the window, but it ended up just vanishing somewhere in the trees. And all I just saw for a few seconds was stuff falling out of the sky. Despite the sight, both men say they're happy no one was hurt. And according to Douglas Cooper, the deputy director for the Mobile County Emergency Management Agency, he says two people were inside the home when the tornado struck. He says both of those individuals drove themselves to the hospitals and suffered non life threatening injuries. Back to y'all in the studio. All right, Anaya, thank you. So they talked about the video, Jason. We saw bits and pieces of it here. We're seeing all of it behind us here. Talk a little bit about this weather event from yesterday. Rare, common, becoming more common. What can you tell us about it? Well, definitely a moderate risk of severe weather yesterday. And what ended up unfolding was a big complex of severe thunderstorms that moved through the area. And when we have a big complex like that, sometimes on the end, especially the north end of that complex, we can see brief spin up tornadoes. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened here. There was actually no warning for this tornado. It was only around for just a little brief period of time before it lifted, but it hit right on top of that neighborhood in Chunchula. And as we watch this video and you see what happens here, kind of just a reminder as to why we break in for news coverage in these events, why we don't go on the air, because it can happen just like that, and you can see how destructive it can be. Definitely destructive, and fortunately, so far, this is the only tornado we've seen. Storm crews will go out and assess the damage here as far as what rating it gets later today. All right.